Assistant Governor Bala Mohammed has been discharged from isolation center after testing negative for COVID-19. It could be recalled that he tested positive on 24th of March and was quarantined for medication. Allah will not lay a burden on his servants that he will not have the power to carry. I thank him for freeing me and freeing many others. And may he also free our, brother, free our brothers and sisters in Bauchi and other places to the benefit of humanity. It's been a th but still on COVID-19. The National Assembly engagement with critical government organizations on the containment of COVID-19 continued with the Presidential Task Force on Containment of the Virus. At the meeting, President of the Senate, Ahmad Lawan, stressed the need for a single centralized account for all COVID-19 funds to be managed by separate body. National Assembly correspondent Ignatius Nkwa reports. Every day, painstaking engagement between the two arms of government against the scourge of COVID-19. President of the Senate, Ahmed Lawan, stressed accountability and transparency in the management of all COVID-19 homes. His fear was allayed by the chairman of the presidential committee, Bost Mustafa. Under a certain platform, one platform, not every organization uh, is running uh, its own show. There could be duplication. Uh, working at cross purposes, at the end of the day, there will certainly not be efficiency. We run a constitutional democracy that provides an essential ingredient called checks and balances. The PTBF would not be directly involved in the collection and disbursement of cash donations for COVID-19. The Accountant General of the Federation has already published the account details for collection. The tax force demanded some legislations to contain the virus and put in place preventive measures in the future. And that some have positively disappeared from view, and we are not sure how we are going to be able to actually account for the uh, transmission that goes on. The legislators observed the need for hazard allowance for frontline health workers and for publication of names, bank verification numbers and pictures of vulnerable Nigerians who benefited from the palliatives. The Presidential Tax Force explained that the Minister of Foreign Affairs is addressing the plight of Nigerians in China as moves to bring back Nigerians who wish to return from other countries is ongoing. The arrival of the Chinese medical personnel into Nigeria and need to monitor their 14 days quarantine period also came to the fore. Minister of Information and Culture Alhaji Lai Mohammed advised Nigerians to guard against fake news on COVID-19, describing the story of alleged spending of 1 billion naira on SMS by NCDC as one of such unrealistic stories. We are taking adequate measures, but I want to see the opportunity to thank Facebook because the agreement between us and Facebook is that once we flag that kind of story, Facebook removes it or we stamp it. Facebook is not that the civil service not just showed me now that that particular thing has been stamped. This is the fifth meeting involving the leadership of the National Assembly and government organizations on the measures to contain the virus. From the National Assembly, Ignatius Nkwo, NTN News. The Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed, says the federal government is increasing measures in curbing the spread of COVID-19 in the country and wants government in states, especially those that share border with neighboring countries, to be proactive in tracing cases. The minister disclosed this on NTA's Good Morning Nigeria this Friday, explaining that efforts on containment and mitigation by the federal government remain on course. Lai Mohamed stressed that every stakeholder must play his part to end the pandemic in Nigeria. For prevention, you need the cooperation of the populace. They need to listen to what the government is saying, especially through their various agencies like the Port Health, the Center for Disease Control, the Ministry of Health. And here is where we need especially the 
for support of the state governors. They need to be proactive. They don't need to wait for the site to come. They must prepare and work with the various health authorities, especially the Port Health, Immigration and, uh, and, and others at our land borders. ground on the Chinese assistance to Nigeria in the fight against COVID-19 said there are measures to increase the number of bed spaces for isolation of suspected cases in addition to existing facilities with legal state already in the forefront. Today, if you have the resources, you have the funds, those equipment are not available. South Korea has banned the exportation of anything that has to do with containment of uh, COVID-19. And there's a proverb that says that um, when somebody offers you a medicine as a cure for the ailment, you ask him three questions. Have you ever suffered that ailment before? When you did, did you use this drug? When you did, did it work? And this is exactly what we see in the case of the Chinese. But they are not coming to treat Nigerian yeah, patients. Yeah, they are coming note. to help us even build our own capacity. Mohamed added that Nigeria now has fewer cases of COVID-19 from returning travelers and wants citizens to be the social distancing practice. Lagos residents have been advised to adhere strictly to federal and Lagos state government's directive towards containing the spread of coronavirus in the state. Commissioner for Information and Strategy, Benga Omotosho, met the call at an interministerial press briefing on COVID-19 update at Alausa. Nosa Osla reports. State, which is the epicenter for the COVID-19 outbreak in the country, has a total number of 145 confirmed cases. According to the Commissioner for Information and Strategy, all hands must be on deck to support both the federal and state governments in the fight against the pandemic. Omoto Osho, who briefed the media alongside the Commissioners for Health, the Environment, Finance, Education, Youth and Social Development, Agriculture, Local Government and Community Affairs, Economic Planning and Budget, Home Affairs and the Special Advisor to the Governor on Civic Engagement during the briefing on the activities of the state on COVID-19 urged residents to maintain social distancing, high level of personal hygiene and be observant of the preventive measures on the awareness programs by the governments. It is for us to tell Lagosians the journey so far and to give them hope that all is not lost. That after coronavirus, there will be life. Commissioner for Health, Professor Aki Abayomi, gave insights on how Lagos State has been preparing for an emergency like COVID-19 in the past five years after the Ebola outbreak. He made it known to the public that patients who die of the coronavirus were also agents of transmission and so could not be buried like other people who died in normal deaths. The outbreak is seemingly under control in Lagos. If it was out of control, we would be seeing increasing numbers of cases on a daily basis. Several local governments they have been doing a lot of communications across the nitty-gritty of the inner streets. Commissioner for Economic Planning and Budget urged residents to spend wisely as the pandemic has affected the country's economy in Lagos, Nosa, Osula. NTA News. It's now time for a break. NTA Panorama News continues shortly. Thanks for staying with us. Um, joining me now live via Skype is Dr. Osawaru Okunzua, a public affairs analyst. Thanks for joining us on the program. Good afternoon. All right, um, doctor, let me start on this note. It might sound funny. If I say there are positive sides to the advent of coronavirus, will I be right? Already we are ensuring it 
and uh, we are going to quarry some lessons from what is befalling the whole wide world. So to that extent, maybe yes, if we are studious enough, we are able to speak uh, some items that will serve us in the future. All right. Um, what is your assessment of government's approach to tackling the virus in Nigeria? Well, it's very clear the government is very responsive. Uh, there's confusion all over the world, and really now people are coming to see what is happening. And I think uh, a lot of mass is being shown in our own part of the world. So I think any citizen is being observant to have a lot to be proud of. Of course, there's still a lot to be done, a lot of lessons to be learned and to be prepared for. So I think we need to support all our neighbors, all our family members, all our friends, and of course, all the government institutions to make sure collectively we are able to fight this back for our work. Without uh, having too many on our Okay, now let's talk about something that um, a lot of Nigerians are debating on. Some Nigerians are skeptical about bringing Chinese doctors into the country to assist um, the country in tackling coronavirus. What is your view about this? I'm asking how advantageous is this? All sides are right. All sides have a point and the good compromise has been found. That is my own uh, take on the matter. We have a lot of doctors who are unemployed or even not even employed at all. So the number, the number coming from the Republic of China quite uh, quite few, just about a dozen or so. It doesn't quite uh, just drop in the pocket. But the principle is established that if we have enough, we don't need from outside. But because of the health package, the Chinese have also demonstrated they handling the coronavirus after all that was placed, uh, the, the, the virus that was all uh, erupted. Uh, they may have 15 or two to also tell us. But I think uh, a very a very safe, very safe uh, uh, mean, a very safe mean has been found. The, the opinion of those who are opposed will be taken into consideration. And of course, the government has the right to pursue the welfare of all its citizens. So we're taking that way to guard to make sure we have the benefits and also lessen the cost. I think we are uh, on course. Okay, um, presently, um, the challenge staring the government in the eye now is how to prevent a uh, community infection. How can this be achieved? But there's only a lot of emphasis on um, scrupulous personal hygiene and social distancing. We need to keep emphasizing that and uh, keep persuading people that come to pass these things. They have to keep observing it for their own safety and safety of their friends and neighbors and family. So we have to keep emphasizing that message until we are out of the food. There's no other way about it because if there is no transmitter, there won't be a recipe. And of course, if there is a transmitter, there is no recipe, there won't be a transmission. So I think the, the principle we have to maintain. Okay, um, government ha has put down measures on ground to contain the spread of um, COVID-19. Looking at the lockdown, which is one of the measures um, in states, how effective has this been in checkmating the virus? It's not difficult to know in the interim, but so far so far, so good. I think it's working. Today at the end of the day, when we are looking back, we go to know what has worked well or what has not worked well. But for as long as it's related to school distancing and to school separation, I think it makes a lot of sense and we should keep observing it. Okay, just like um, the issue of uh, the Chinese doctors, there's also a lot of debate among people whether uh, government should extend the lockdown or it should end after 14 days. Will you recommend an extension? Our oh, well, extension will be called for in this country. Of course, lockdown or reopening is not going to be a kind of a light switch that we turn on and turn off. It will be a gradual thing. People to study different parts of the country, those areas that are affected, so that they will receive attention, those areas that are being relieved, and open those areas up. So that's going to be, when Nigeria is a very bad country, so maybe one measure can now apply to all of us. All right, thank you very much, Dr. Osarua Okunzoa, for joining us on Panorama. All right.
Austin Commission, NBC, has joined forces with government, humanitarian bodies, and individuals in the fight against the coronavirus pandemic. Adeola Komiakera reports that the commission donated safety kits to staff of Las Potec FM Lagos to help prevent COVID-19. Since the outbreak of the deadly coronavirus, media organizations, including the Nigerian Television Authority, have been in the forefront of sensitizing Nigerians on the dangers of the virus and the preventive measures to take. To ensure safety of media workers whose services are essential, the Director General of the National Broadcasting Commission has directed that community stations will receive preventive kits to protect persons on duty. Kits were also presented to the management of the Lagos State Polytechnic Radio in Ikorodu. The national broadcasting team was conducted around the institution's FM station and they were interviewed live on radio. We don't have much radio stations or broadcast stations station here in Ikorodu. And they are not just enlightening the, um, the polytechnic community, but the Ikorodu as a community. They are playing that wonderful role. That is why we choose them, because the donation was specific to uh, community broadcast stations. We have a role and responsibility to, to play in terms of uh, trying to sensitize our people. Everybody is involved in this warfare. And so it's a warfare that can only win by information. Meanwhile, it was observed that the people of Ikorodu, where the radio station is located, are adhering to the stay-at-home order as the roads were devoid of the usual vehicular traffic, except areas where there was the sale of perishable items. In Lagos, Adeola Komiakiri, NCA News. On a cherry note now, President Mahmoud Buhari has felicitated with Christians as well as all Nigerians on the celebration of Easter. In a statement, the president noted that the celebration which comes amid the grip with which the virus has held the entire world is unprecedented in the memory of mankind and enjoined Christians to rekindle their faith in Christ. The president urged the Christians to imbibe the virtues of humility, discipline, perseverance, sacrifice and obedience which Jesus Christ demonstrated during his stay on earth. He commended the collaborative efforts of stakeholders in controlling in confronting COVID-19 with strong conviction that this will put the nation through. Now, the federal government has promised to take more decisive and proactive measures towards ensuring that the Boko Haram menace in, the, in parts of the country is totally eliminated for sustainable peace and development. President Mahmoud Buhari gave the assurance during a strategic engagement with the governor of Borno State, Professor Babagana Omara Zulum, on the prevailing security situation following Chadian military operations on the fringes of Lake Chad. State House correspondent Adam Sambo has the details. When Baba Gana Umara Zulum was in the State House to brief the President on the recent military action against Boko Haram by Chad Republic on the shores of Lake Chad and its implications on Nigeria's national security. Chad was responding to the killing of nearly 100 of his soldiers by the insurgents. President Muhammad Buhari and Governor Zulum, after critically analyzing the situation, expressed the belief that time has come to once and for all put to an end the senseless acts of terror by Boko Haram and other criminal elements operating in the region. Honestly speaking, we are apprehensive because of the ongoing operations by the Chadians right now. Most of the Boko Haram have fleeing the shores of the Lake Chad, the areas of the Chad Republic, and they are now coming to the northern Borno state and then to southern Borno state. And there's need for us to now uh, provide some counter insurgency attacks. So what did the president tell you? And this is the right time that the government of Nigeria under his leadership will do everything possible to support the MNGTF and others to be proactive enough to contain the situation, to deal with them decisively with a view to ending the crisis so that they shouldn't occupy some other areas in the northern states as well as in the Zambesa Reserve. 
The governor of Borno State also briefed President Muhammad Buhari on his administration's efforts at containing the coronavirus pandemic. My deputy governor, who is the chairman of the coronavirus pandemic committee, is doing very well. We have stopped uh, vehicular movement into my degree, but passengers are good, unless if and only if such movements are very necessary. Uh, our indigenous coming from abroad, we stop them from coming. And if they must come, I think we are taking them straight to the isolation centers. We have a huge number of IDP camps. We have taken some measures, including frequent checkings and, and then testings and so on. So far, Borno State has not recorded any case of COVID-19. From the State House, Adamusambu, NTA News. Up next is Sports Update with...